Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. We are back on New Antares in the world server in the village of Black Adder, which is still thriving. However, I've noticed that the Black Adderians, there's something missing from their lives. How much wood have I got? Plenty. Um, I do not have a bench down here. Oh, I can get to this one. Unfortunately for them, they have been... There's no well in this village. They've been... Before I came along, they were using the seawater, which is anything but healthy. And then after I got working on the road out here, they started work... They started using... I broke into a spring or something, and it formed a little river, so they've been using that, but you still you have to exit the village in order to get the water. So, I thought I would dig down and see if I could find a water source down below, or make one. Yes, I have a bucket. And from there, see about setting up a cistern of some sort. Hmm. Actually, oh. Dang. Do I have cobblestone? I have a ton of bit. Okay, and we're gonna we will add later on to the others. Okay. We're good to go. So we're gonna have to dig down here and either find a some kind of a cave or or coal. Or make one. Good lord, lots of coal. Okay, this doesn't really fit with the program. Tell you what, I'm gonna see about getting down there and figuring out what can be done. And then I will be right back. Okay, so we're down here, significantly below the level of the village, and found a bunch of gravel in this area and cleared it out. So I think this is a good place to start. So I'm going to try to clear out a good-sized cavern here, and then we're going to see about making it look nice. So on the upper level, I've got a little workroom set up, and we are starting to make progress cutting out the actual area for the cistern down here. I've also got a lot of stone cooking, because we're going to need a lot of cooked stone to make this look right. Okay, so, super quick update. I have cut away quite a bit of what I want to cut away, and as you see, I can, I've already started putting some of the stone down, just to kind of give me an idea of, of things. Mainly we're in places where I've taken out stuff like iron or coal. Uh, what I really want to do is go ahead. The ceiling is going to be completely done in stone brick as well. So I'm going to go ahead and rip out the entire ceiling, one up, one up. You know, there's some, that's technical terminology, guys. And replace it all with stone brick to start with. I have a ton. I still got more stone brick cooking. And we're going to see if we can't, I don't know if I've got enough on me, but we will align the entire roof with stone brick. Then I'm going to figure out where the pillars go. And oh, I don't know what order I'm doing this stuff in. I do need to figure out where the pillars are going to go, though, so that I don't get confused later. Oh, my villagers keep getting injured. I know I'm going to lose some. And they're named, which is wasteful. Ugh. That's why I don't hang around this village too long. I can't figure out where they're falling from. They're not dying. So here's the room, unfinished. I'm gonna, I've bricked the entire ceiling. I'm gonna brick the floor. We're gonna brick all the walls up. And uh, then I gotta figure out where the pillars are gonna go. I'm gonna put, I was thinking about putting four pillars in here. Probably not more than that, but maybe. Up here's where the water's gonna be, so it'll Next phase down. is complete. We've got the upper area filled with water. Luckily, ladders hold water back, which is awesome. I keep hearing my villagers getting, shoot, injured, which is annoying, as they're all named. If any of them could get down there, if any of them die, it's a pain. Okay. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to go for. Awesome. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more work here. We'll see where we are. Okay, so we've made a little bit more progress. It's not quite as grand as I was hoping it would be, uh, mainly because it's not as tall. Uh, but uh, I didn't want to go too deep, and at the same time, I didn't want to make it too high. I'm hoping once the water's in, it's going to look better. Okay. Oh, darn it. I need to stop starting with okay. 
Looks like I do that all the time. I'm almost done. I'm going to pull the torches off the pillars, I think, and we're going to replace those. Stay away. Don't come down here. <clears throat> we're going to replace those with um, torches in these torch holders. Or these torch areas, I guess you could call them. Darn it. And fill this guy up with water. I think I'm going to put a couple more blocks right there, maybe. Or maybe when you get out. Dang, dang it. Oh, this is... There we go. This is the worst part, is the placing the water. Because <clears throat> it's pushing me all around. Come along. There we go. Bam. Okay, so that does this side. Now, mobs can't spawn in water. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, I should be able to leave this somewhat dark down here and not run into any major issues. If I had to put the pillars in last, the water, putting down the water would be a lot easier. <clears throat> okay. This should be interesting. Okay, this is working a lot better than I thought it would. That smooths that out, and this almost. Bingo. Now, can I get up on these steps? Yes. Awesome. Mobs can't spawn on steps, so we can lose the light here. And then we're going to add some sconces. Sconces-ish. Or at least places for sconces on the sides. And then we'll be done. Let me get to that. I'll be right back. Okay, there you have it. Um, the spring up above causes the water to drip down where it fills this cistern where it can be used by the people of the village at their leisure. Um, there's no flowing water, so there's not going to be any lag for people, aside from the general lag caused by all the villagers. And I've got that workroom up above. We can just leave that there for now. Use that chest for storage. But there you have it. There's the Black Adder Village Cistern. As you can see, she's gotten nicely filled up. I went ahead and put a little place here for you to stop so you don't actually have to get your feet wet if you want to fill your bucket or empty it. And there you have it. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. As always, I appreciate it. This took me a couple hours to do, mainly digging out, cause, but I was using some iron in order to kind of facilitate speed. These look a little narrow with these massive things at the top, and this would probably be a better room if it were larger, maybe twice as far across, and then I could make these 4x4 four four or even 3 by or 2x2 two two or even 3x3 three three pillars. But it is what it is, and it does it does what it needs to do, which is hold up the village up above it so there's no kind of a collapse and provide water to the villagers of Blackadder. Thanks everybody for watching once again, and I will talk to you all next time.